women went, Simon Peter then came and followed him and went into the tomb and he saw the linen wrappings lying there and the cloth, the napkin that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up and folded by itself. Now that's something I want you to think about and be aware of. This napkin wasn't just thrown to the side, it was rolled up and folded. And every servant knew what that meant. When the master would eat at the table, and there were very strict rules about how you operated when you ate together with other people. And one of the things all the servants knew, that when the master left the table, if the napkin was just thrown to its side, it's time to clean up all that was there in front of it. But if he took that napkin and he neatly folded it and left it, that meant don't touch anything because he's planning on coming back. Jesus took the napkin and he folded up very neatly and laid it aside so all the servants would know that he's coming back. That he's not only been resurrected, but he's coming back again to finish the feast with all of us. So let's pray together and give him thanks for this great Easter day. Dear God, Dear God, thank you for your promise, thank you for your promise. and especially for Easter's promise. In Jesus' name, In Jesus name. Amen. Amen.